In the past 24 hours, a series of distressing incidents in Chirachanpur, Lamka town have shattered the town's peace, plunging the innocent residents into panic and terror. According to a reliable source, the residents of the Indigenous Tribal Leaders Forum General Secretary Muan Tombing was attacked by unknown armed miscreants at around 8.30 p.m. on July 4. The assailants kicked the doors open, dragged Tombing's wife across the floor, and snatched her daughter's mobile phone. Fortunately, the ITLF General Secretary was not home at the time. One can only imagine the potential harm the armed miscreants could have inflicted on him. Around the same time, armed miscreants kidnapped the president of the Yang Paite Association YPA at Kananwang. He was released after undergoing extensive interrogation and brutal torture. In another incident, armed miscreants, suspected to be from the same group, opened fire at the residence of Singhat MLA Chin Lun Thang in Zianhang, Churachanpur, Lamka, at around 1 a.m. on July 5. Around the same time, gunshots were also heard near the residence of Han Lin Thang, the president of the Waipei People's Council, VPC, along Red Cross Road in Churachanpur, Lamka town. Following the series of actions by armed miscreants in the town, various civil society organizations of the Kukizo community have issued a strong condemnations. The Committee on Tribal Unity, Kotu, Sadar Hills, Kampupi District, strongly condemned the life-threatening acts of armed miscreants against 60 Singhat AC MLA Chin Lun Thang and his family, ITLF General Secretary Muan Tombing and his family, the President of YPA Kanan Wang and his family, and the incident near the residence of the VPC president. The Committee on Tribal Unity Kotu strongly condemns the unwanted life threatening acts of the army screens of Pu Chin Lun Thang, Honorable MLA 60 Singhat ST Assembly Constancy and his family, Pu Mon Tombe, General Secretary of ITLF and his family, and President of YPA Kanan Wen and his family at this challenging time on the 3rd July 2024 night. So in this regard, Committee on Tribal Unity go to appeal to all the Kukizo communities to maintain our commitment to the command course and continue to stand with the same spirit on oneness, one for all and all for one. Lastly, we pray to our Almighty God for emotional and physical healings of our leaders. Meanwhile, the Indigenous Tribal Leaders Forum, ITLF, strongly condemned the series of events, stating that the armed miscreants and their supporters are actively working against community peace and unity. The ITLF emphasized that these actions aim to disrupt unity in the face of common challenges. This heinous crime against our leaders is condemned in the strongest terms by the Presidential Council of the ITLF, the statement asserted. Given the repeated targeting of their leaders, the ITLF warned that if these incidents persist, they may be compelled to take retaliatory measures. The ITLF also urged law enforcement agencies such as the Assam Rifles and the police to intervene swiftly and take necessary precautions to prevent further harassment and escalation by the armed miscreants within the town.